The Little Machine Shop had their tailstock cam lock kit for the mini lathe on sale, so I ordered me one. The kit includes two retaining rings, a knob, a handle shaft, cam shaft, cam socket, a cam sleeve, and instructions. You will use the old clamping foot from the tailstock. The parts are very nice looking and have a very good fit. The handle is threaded at both ends. I like that. It will make it easy to change knobs or extend the handle if need be. I'm going to install it on a Tools Now number 5278 mini lathe. The only thing that has to be done to the tailstock is drill a half inch hole in the right place. Getting to that right place will be the adventure. I'm not going to quite follow the instructions here. I'm going to use a bit of scrap plastic and make an alignment pin for the cam sleeve and a little piece of half inch diameter aluminum rod to make a guide for a drill bit. I really don't trust the lining of the sleeve by my eyesight and I don't have a half inch transfer punch as per the instructions. The clearance hole for the clamp foot is just a bit over a half inch in diameter. And the hole in the cam sleeve is just a little over three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to turn down a little over quarter inch worth to fit the hole in the tailstock. The rest I'm turning down to fit in the cam sleeve. The length of the pin will put it just short of the hole in the sleeve that the camshaft goes through. Sometimes when I'm cleaning up, I think I should just throw away all the little pieces of scrap I have. Then later, one of them turns out to be just the right size for a project. Sure makes me happy I didn't throw it all away. One little complication with the tailstock. The surface that the cam sleeve will rest on was not flat. Seems to be mostly powder coat buildup and maybe one little high spot of metal. But I want to get it as flat as possible before I mark the drill location. The plastic guide pin seems to be working well. All I have to do is keep the sleeve turned square and hold it down. The drill guide bushing is just a piece of half inch diameter aluminum rod, one and one eighth inch long with a five thirty second inch hole drilled in the center. Again, a piece I had in the scrap box. Then with a hand drill, I will mark the location and then it's off to the drill press. The back side of the tailstock seems to be pretty square to the bottom mounting surface. So I'm going to just rest that on a one, two, three block and then clamp it in place. After a bit of making sure the drill bit is lined up just right, it's just a matter of drilling bigger and bigger holes till I get to the final one half inch size. I'm going up in steps a little under one eighth of an inch. The cast iron seems pretty soft, so I guess I could have skipped a couple of sizes. But doing it in small steps just doesn't seem to add that much time, so why not? After drilling, I'm knocking the sharp edges off the hole. Then the camshaft goes on. There are inner and outer retaining ring grooves on the shaft. You will want a pair of retaining ring pliers. Even the ultra cheap ones, like I have here, will save a world of aggravation. Without them, this inside retaining ring would not be fun. Next, the cam sleeve and socket go on the shaft, then the outside retaining ring. The clamp foot gets screwed on, and we are ready to try it out. Of course, on the first try, it won't quite tighten. So I have to remove the outside retaining ring and turn the cam socket a half a turn. Now it locks down quite nicely.
I've only used the tailstock a couple of times since installing the cam lock. But I have a conclusion. Why oh why didn't I put one of these on a long time ago? It seemed like just a couple of seconds to tighten and loosen the nut with the wrench. I didn't really think it would be that much of an upgrade. It is. Best upgrade since the quick change tool post. I can really see it paying off when the tailstock is up close to the compound. There were times when it was tight getting the wrench in position. As for this kit from the little machine shop, I'm very happy with it. I think it's well made and I really like the square cam sleeve. I think it looks a little better than the round ones. I thought the handle might be a bit short to get it tight enough, but it hasn't slipped on me, though I don't do any heavy drilling with it either. Definitely a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.